Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my YouTube session guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn solid waste management, multiple choice question and answer and this is your unit 1 and unit 1 name is solid waste. Okay. So, in this, your first question is which one of the following parameters is not included in the routine characterization of solid waste for its physical composition? Option A. Moisture content. Option B. Density. Option C. Particle size analysis. Option D. Energy value. Right answer is option D. Energy value. Okay. So here right answer is option D. Energy value is the parameters is not included in the routine characterization of solid based for its physical composition. Okay. Next question. The term refuse generally does not include option A, putrescible, solid waste, option B, excreta, option C, non putrescible, solid waste, and option D, ashes. Right answer is option B, excreta. Okay, the term refuse generally does not include excreta. Next question. Which of the following statement regarding cycling is wrong? Option A. Saves precious resources. Option B. Requires a stable market. Option C. Improves the efficiency of treatment processes. Option D. Increases the need for mining virgin material. Right answer is option D. Increases the need for mining virgin materials. Okay. Next question. What is the most expensive component of solid waste handling? Option A. Collection. Option B. Storage. Option C. Treatment. Option D. Separation. Right answer is option A. Collection. Okay. Collection is the most expensive component of solid waste handling. Next question. Next question. What is the process flow in an integrated solid waste management system? Option A. Generation source, separation facility, separation, collection, transfer and transport landfill. Option B. Generation source, separation, collection, transfer and transfer facility, separation, landfill. Option C. Generation source, separation, collection, facility, separation, transfer and transport landfill. Option D. Generation source, separation. Collection, landfill, facility, separation, and then transfer and transport. Okay. Right answer here is option C. Firstly, generations, source, separation, then collection, then facility, separation, and then transfer. And last step is transport and landfill. Okay. Right answer is option C. Next question. Which of the following can be recycled many times? Option A. Plastic. Option B. Wood. Option C. Organic material. Option D. Aluminium. Right answer is option D. Aluminium. Okay. Aluminium can be recycled many times. Next question. Waste is any material that is not needed by the option A. Owner. Option B. Producer. Option C. Processor. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. All of the above. Next question. What is the order of based management hierarchy from most to least favored? Option A. Prevention. Then recycle. Then reuse. Then disposal. Option B. Prevention. Then reuse. Then disposal. Then recycle. Option D. Prevention. Then reuse, then recycle, and dis then disposal. Right answer is option D. Firstly, prevention, then reuse, then recycle, and in the last, disposal. Okay, next question. What percentage of the munis municipal solid waste is being landfilled in India? Option A, 10 to 20 percent. Option B, 30 to 50 percent. Option C, 50 to 70 percent. Option D, 70 to 90 percent. Right answer is option C, 50 to 70 percent. Okay. Next question. Explain, expand LCA and RCRA. Option A, 
life cost approach resource construction and recovery act respectively option b life cycle assessment and resource conservation and recovery act respectively option c life conditions assessment resource conservation and recycling act respectively option d life cell assessment resource reconstruction and reuse act respectively okay right answer is option b lc stands for life cycle assessment and rcra stands for resource conservation and recovery act okay next question which component of the municipal solid waste is used for the preparation of organic compost option a glass option b metal option c food based option d plastic right answer is option c food based okay next question the processing recycling site shall be away from option a habitation clusters option b forest areas option c batter bodies option d all of the above right answer is option d all of the above next question under which rules of government guidelines for solid waste management are followed today option a municipal solid waste rule 2000 option b municipal solid waste rules 2016 option c solid waste rules 2000 option d solid waste rule 2016 right answer is option b municipal solid waste rules 2016 next question which gas produces in open dumps from the decomposition of biodegradable waste option a ethane option b methane option c propene option d ethane right answer is option b methane okay next question moisture content of solid waste is the weight loss expressed in percent when a sample of solid waste is dried to a constant weight at a temperature of option a 80 degree celsius option b 100 degree celsius option c 120 degree celsius option d 140 degree celsius okay right answer is option b 100 degree celsius okay Next question Which of the below is not an idea behind solid waste management Option A control of waste generation Option B storage and collection Option C disposal Option D stop waste generation Right answer is option D stop waste generation Next question The process of burning of municipal solid waste at high temperature is called option A incineration option B composting option C landfilling option D shredding right answer is option A incineration okay next question which of the following is a biodegradable waste option A polythene bags option B synthetic fiber option c food based option d paper right answer is option c food based okay food based is the is a biodegradable based next question which method of disposal of municipal solid waste the waste is dumped in the soil option a incineration option b composting option c landfilling option d shredding right answer is option c land filling okay next question the crushing and grinding of municipal solid waste is called option a landfills option b shredding option c pulverization option d composting right answer is option b shredding the crushing and grinding of municipal solid waste is called shredding next question the density of ash produces in the municipal solid waste is blank space option a 100 kg per meter cube option b 450 kg per meter cube option c 700 kg per meter cube option d 1000 kg per meter cube right answer is option c 700 kg per meter cube okay 
Next question. The base produced in cotton mills are option A municipal solid base, option B non biodegradable base, option C hazardous base, option D non hazardous base. Right answer is option D non hazardous base. Okay. Next question. Which of the following is not the land filling method? Option A Bangalore method, option B area method. Option C, depression method. Option D, trench method. Right answer is option A, Bangalore method. Okay. Next question. The term ISWM refers to option A, international solid waste management. Option B, integrated solid waste management. Option C, integrated solid waste machine. Option D, international solid waste mechanism. Right answer is option B. Integrated solid based management. Okay. Next question. How many major sources of solid waste are there based on their origin? Option A 10. Option B 5. Option C 9. And option D 6. Right answer is option C 9. Okay. 9 major sources of solid waste are there based on their origin. Okay guys. Now let's find out this lecture. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. Wish you very very all the best for your examination. Bye bye.